it has full access to the bloc's internal market, and it can trade most goods with member states duty-free. What's wow, more, it's not good. limited by the EU's strict internal trade policy. And <laughs> Hello and hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope every one of you having a very great day, have a very great weekend also and please do take care of yourself, safety first and take care of your health also and first of all i would like to thank everyone who already support my channel by subscribing and left your comment below and um, for those who are still not supporting by subscribing please do so because i really really hope that and i really appreciate your support towards me thank you so much and today i'm going to watch a video i'm going to wreck a video on um how powerful is norway okay from the channel of now these originals please do support this channel also and as a nation girl uh, from malaysia especially i didn't know about um, norway so much and today i want to know how powerful norway is with this video okay without further ado let's go and watch with me Are you guys ready? Let's get started! In June 2016, the United Kingdom voted to leave the European Union in a controversial referendum known as Brexit. Many Brits who supported Brexit, Brexit argued that the UK would be better off if it adopted the Norwegian model, that is, remaining outside the EU while reaping some of the organization's economic benefits. But how well is this model working for the country? Just how powerful is Norway? Yeah. Well, at nearly 150,000 square miles, or a bit larger than the US state of Montana, Norway is the second biggest Scandinavian country. But with a population of about 5 million, the country has the lowest population density in all of continental Europe. Still, those who do live in Norway tend to be fairly well off. The country has the third highest per capita GDP in Europe, and the fourth highest in the world. This is partially due to Norway being the largest per capita producer of oil outside the Middle East, accounting for roughly a quarter of the country's nearly $400 billion GDP. While the global slump in gas prices has taken a huge toll on other oil-dependent economies like Brazil and Venezuela, Norway has been less affected. This is because over the years, the country has stored much of its public money in its sovereign wealth fund, which is like an investment account for countries. And Norway's is reportedly the largest in the world. Norway's economy also benefits from the country's unique arrangement with the EU. The so-called Norwegian model means that although Norway is not an official member, it has full access to the bloc's internal market, and it can trade most goods with member states duty-free. What's wow, more, it's not good. limited by the EU's strict internal trade policy, and thus has the freedom to negotiate free trade agreements with countries outside the organization. However, when it comes to Norway's defense, existing outside the EU does have certain disadvantages. Norway has little say in EU policies regarding regional security, which is problematic when dealing with Russia over their shared border. Still, Norway does benefit from its membership in NATO, which is crucial as the country is relatively weak on its own. Its military encompasses oh. just 70,000 personnel and a $7 billion defense budget. Historically, Norway has built up its military through mandatory conscription. However, since the end of the Cold War, the country has relaxed its drafting policies. And in general, those who don't wish to serve are not forced to. That said, conscription mm. is still not an official civic to responsibility. To serve and in 2013, the country. Norway became the first NATO and European country to expand this duty to women as well as men. As an economically stable and NATO protected country, Norway is doing well. But like other Scandinavian countries, Norway is struggling to control an influx of migrants, integrate ethnic minorities, and navigate an aging population, all while maintaining its robust social safety net and economic competitiveness. If many Brits had considered these and Norway's other domestic issues, perhaps they would have thought twice before choosing to go it alone. The Kingdom of Norway is also home to the Svalbard Seed Vault, one of the largest collections of seeds in the world, and Trace over on DNews got to see the inside of it. You can learn more about the Doomsday Vault by watching this video here. By digging a 130 meter tunnel deep into the mountain, the vault is underneath that permafrost, meaning they only had to cool it the remaining 12 Celsius. At that temperature, the 860,000 varieties currently in the vault can be held for decades. How powerful is Norway? We know how, for me, when I watch this video, I feel like Norway is a very intelligent and superb government they have is. 
um, as we know that Norway is uh, the country who have the um, high, the third highest per capita GDP in Europe and number four in the world. And uh, we knew that Norway is not a member of EU, but Norway is better with her own with, with Norwegian style. Um, for me, what I can say here is Norway has its own style, had its own way on how to to manage the country, to manage Norway itself in all uh, the the sectors, especially on um, economic itself. And we know that uh, Norway has been listed as um, the country, the, the third highest country per capita GDP in Europe, even though. Uh, Norway is not a member of EU, but he can stand. He uh, Norway is like stand alone. He, he use his um, Norway use a Norwegian ways on uh, to 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 govern the government itself. And uh, most of the country want to follow how Norway is doing very great to ensure that their country can be. Uh, like Norway as well and we can see how Norway is actually um, go through all the moment uh, all the tough moment and pass all the, the greatest um, moment that some of the country has uh, become bankruptcy and so on but Norway has his own way on how to um, survive from all the difficult time and especially when, when we know as economy drop and everything but he uh, Norway itself can stand alone and giving the very best for the citizen itself and it's very something for me something a secret recipes done by the Norway government how they govern um, Norway in a very best way even though uh, Norway have a, a very high taxes but the government taking care of the citizen money and giving it back to the citizen as well by giving a very great educational giving the very best health care and so on and for me a lot of country out there uh, looking at the module of uh, noise and they are trying to learning and learn and become like Norway um, the best country the safest country the richest country per citizen you know and i think i'm very very shocked to hear that and um but uh something that no we have must be something um no no we must taking care of uh we know that we know norway is the safest country in the world but now we have to take care of defense also military and uh, to ensure that um, Norway is 100% um, protected the, the 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 Norway is is being uh, protected by all the militaries and defense also ensure that uh, Norway the country of Norway is safest from the outer threat or anything that we we didn't know we didn't expect and we have to ensure that the defense, the military sectors also uh, taking care by Norway, so even though we know that Norway is the safest country in the world. And um, I think that's it. Norway is very great in economic, especially as uh, a lot of countries out there want to want to want to apply on how um, Norwegian use or the module that that the governments of Norway use to to governs the great Norway. So and. Um, that is my opinion my personal opinion and i hope that if any wrongs if anything wrongs i'm so sorry because i'm not from norway and this is based on the video that i watched now and i feel so blessed to see that um for me for my for, for my personal um opinion i think norway is a great country very strong country have a very powerful country and um very very independent country and if i'm wrong uh, i'm so sorry and this is my 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 personal opinion okay until we meet again if you like uh, as usual if you like this video do not forget to share and liking it 
And for those who are still not subscribing, please do so because I really hope and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for watching everyone and until we meet again to the next video. Ta-ta!